Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you how to install Ansible on Ubuntu 24.04. Later I will also cover how Ansible is used to automate IT infrastructure with the demo. Let's understand what Ansible is all about. Ansible is an open source tool for automating IT tasks. It uses plain English playbox to manage your infrastructure making it easy to deploy application, configure systems, and orchestrate complex workflows. There are several reasons why Ansible is a popular choice for automation. The first one is simple and easy to learn. Playbooks are written in YAML, a human readable language, making Ansible easy to pick up even for beginners. Agentless designs. Unlike some tools, Ansible does not require any agents to be installed on managed systems. It uses SSH for secure communication. Powerful and flexible. Ansible can handle a wide range of tasks from simple configuration management to the complex deployments. For the demonstration, I am using the following lab with three VMs. VM1 with the Ubuntu 24.04. I am calling this VM as Ansible Control Node because I will be installing Ansible on this node. VM2 running on Fedora 40. I am calling it as Ansible Manage Host 1. VM3 again running on Ubuntu 24.04. I am calling it as Ansible Manage Host 2. I have already connected to these VMs via SSH session. This is my first VM. This is my second VM that is manage host 1 and this is third VM which is manage host 2. On this first VM I will be installing Ansible. But before that we have to configure a common user on all the three VMs that it can run admin commands without prompting sudo password. I have already created a sysops user on all the three VMs. Okay, next run this command so that this user can execute all the admin comma without prompting sudo password. With the interest of time, I have already prepared the set of commands and the steps that I will be referring it in this demo. I will share these steps in the description of the video for your reference. run this command on all the nodes. Next, add Ansible PP repository in order to install latest version of Ansible. Run the following set of commands. sudo apt update In my case, this package is already installed. Now, finally, add the repository using the command add apt repository. Now, we are all set to install Ansible. Run sudo apt install ansible hyphen y hit enter once the installation is complete verify the ansible version run ansible iPhone, iPhone words. So we are running an Ansible core 
of version 2.16.7 and the config file is located under slash etc ansible ansible.cfz next is to test ansible installation but before that we need to configure passwordless ssh authentication for sysops user among all the three vms generate ssh keys for sysops user from the control node and share it between vm1 and the vm2 run ssh keygen trs enter This is the public key for sysops user and this one is the private key. Now share this public key to the vm1 and vm2 using ssh copy id command. Similarly run for the second vm. This output confirms that keys has been added for both the VMs. In order to test Ansible installation, we must create an ansible.cfz and the inventory file. In this demo, I am creating these files under sysops home directory. But the default location is ansible.cfz as we have already seen in the previous command. These files are generally created based on the projects. So different projects will have different ansible.cfz in the inventory files. Let's create our uh, project. We call it ansible-demo. Go to this folder. Run ansible hyphen config space init command to generate the ansible.cfz file next edit this ansible.cfz file add the parameters under default section and privilege acceleration section vi ansible.cfz inventory section here specify the path of our inventory file that will be used by ansible remote user is equal to sysops we will be using a sysops user while connecting to the remote systems in our case it would be vm2 and vm3 host key checking is equal to false next search acceleration Add these four, uh, four parameters under privilege acceleration section. Become true means it will allow sysops users to become a root user using sudo. And while becoming a root user, it will not prompt for the password. Save the changes and exit the file. Now create the inventory file. Give the name as dev. The one is release. Under dev group, add the VM2 IP. 
under release at VM3 IP address. Save and exit the file. Now run ansible space hyphen hyphen version command to verify whether ansible is picking our ansible.cfz and the inventory file we have just created. Make sure you have to run this command from the ansible hyphen demo folder. Great. The config file is pointing to our ansible.cfz file. Let's verify the connectivity of manage nodes from the ansible control node using addo commands. Run ansible and ping. This command will perform a ping pong test towards the VM2 and VM3. The output confirms that the Ansible VM or the Ansible control node is able to reach the VM2 and VM3 successfully using the sysops user. Let's create a sample playbook that will install the packages on dev and release servers. So in this playbook, we have two plays. One is for the release, another one is for dev. For release, we are installing LAMP and for dev, we are installing Nginx. Save and close the file. Before actually applying this playbook, let's do a dry run of this playbook. Run Ansible playbook. Inventory packages hyphen hyphen check. Okay, this output confirms that there is no syntax error in the playbook, there is no connectivity issue, so we are safe to apply this playbook. Remove hyphen hyphen check in the previous command and then hit enter. Okay, this output confirms that the playbook has been executed successfully on the dev as well as on the release servers. We can verify these by running an addo commands. This command will run against the dev servers and it will execute rpm-qa and will grab nginx. If nginx is installed then we will get the output something like this. This confirms the index nginx package is already installed on the dev servers. Similarly, run the same command for release. In the release, we have installed LAMP stack. So, we are using dpkg-l because in release we have Ubuntu and, and in Ubuntu we have dpkg utility and we are grabbing this php mariadb and the apache 2 hit enter great the output confirms that apache 2 mariadb php they are installed on this release server that's all from this video tutorial i hope you have found it useful and informative please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more technical tutorials Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.